Hello and welcome to another film from Train Simulator 2020, where today we're going to be taking a uh, first grade western high speed train from uh, London Paddington to um, 55 minutes. Maybe Reading slash Oxford? I mean, definitely Reading. Maybe they may throw Oxford in there. I don't know. What I do know is, you can help support the channel, if you so wish, by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds from there go immediately back into the channel to help better the content, not only from this, but for other projects in the uh, in the pipeline. Also means that, um, yeah, thank you. Also means I can uh, get more and more content. So, what do I need to do here? Because uh, I'm having a bit of a play. Is it... Um, Oh, wait a minute. It's all good. I actually had this planned out as well. That's the, uh, that's the irritating thing. That's the one. Um, yeah. Bomb, 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 bomb. There we go. Right. Uh, right, we're going to then, we're going to want to go back down here again. Right, do that. <clears throat> I'm going to want to do that. I'm going to want to do that. That, that, uh, oh, that's it, there we go, get rid of you, uh, we don't have to worry about loading passengers because we're good already, so what I am going to do is then up in here, turn on the cab lights, do that, do that, hop out here and then do this Oops! <laughs> in my in my haste. It's a good thing I'm not getting scored for this, which I find a bit odd. But there we are. <laughs> oh, the clag! I love it. This is how a HST should be. Forty three triple zero. Interesting. We'll turn that off. Okay, and we are going to be passing here. One six six two two one. Nice coast at the moment. Our first station stop will be Reading, so we'll actually have a look at this. Uh, we'll pick up passengers from Reading, and uh, then we're going to hit Oxford. Okay. That is what we're going to be doing. That is the uh, that is the task ahead. Nice and peaceful in here. Can't open the windows. Bad. I don't really want to. Should I just have the cab lights on? Should I? What's the time? Twenty-five past five. Yeah. Why not?
Alright, we'll just give it a bootful. Who doesn't love a claggy HST? Especially with a Valenta engine packed on board. Oops. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I've given up caring. Oh, I love it, right? Beans again. Just to see this. I mean, we're coming up to 100 anyway, so... Uh, just put the power down. Oh, some things haven't loaded. In fact, several things haven't loaded into this. Run to the back. Can I get to the 100 limit before we start speeding? We can because I'm getting a bit of wheel slip. Hello, HST. I think we all know where I'm passing at this point. I, I needn't actually say anything. We all know. You haven't got to be a lover of the HST to know where we're passing. I'm just going to sit back here because I can't actually hear myself when I'm sat here. So if I go back here, it's a little bit quieter. You can still hear the gorgeous scream and the clag. What more could you want? Oh cool, we're doing a bit of a uh, leaning out the window. Can I go this side? Oh, I can. Where are we? Okay, we're almost like, basically we're second from the last car. Probably going to run a, run a tour, on a HST tour. So let's, let's slip up here and ignore the fact that half these things aren't actually loading in properly. This is West Ealing we're now at. Who doesn't love that sound? Hey, what have we got here then? Just a box. Nothing, uh, nothing to get overly excited about. And we're doing on time anyway, because with this scenario, basically, get, you have to leave straight away. You can't get anything set up before you have to depart for Reading. So uh, it's curious after I've got all that set up, how we're going to be doing for time, and then ultimately how we're going to be doing when we hit um, Oxford.
open the cap for a bit. Can I put these down? Hello? Yeah, come on. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. Nope. Nope. Eh, it's fine. To be fair, it's not like I need them. Another 166 over there. Okay, it looks like we're getting close to being on time, but we've got 23 miles still to go. For the most part, it looks like it's going to be quite easy running. So what we'll do, we'll um, do some window hanging again. Okay, so we'll drop that down. I'll put it to notch three, should be okay. If it continues dropping, I can put, I can put it to notch four, but uh, what I like about some of these scenarios, you, scenarios are that you don't actually get some um, face for the flag. Yeah, you don't get a face for the flag. You don't actually get penalised for... But you don't get a points deduction. Which I find pretty interesting. Now, I don't claim to know this route um, off by heart, so some of the smaller stations that we're going to be passing through um, I'm sure you guys will know where you're going. Okay, I did a series on this on the Great Western Mainline a couple of years ago. That uh, I can't remember all the, the I, well, I can remember a fair few of them, but uh, not every single one. It appears that notch 4 is actually a, a decent one, gives me 121 miles an hour, which is fine and dandy. I mean, from the looks of things, we're due into Reading early, 30 seconds early, so um, I'll take that. What I do need to make sure is that uh, I judge my braking distance accurately, otherwise I'll come in a spot of bother as we have another HST passing by. with the, um, the Barbie livery. Well, the current livery, shall I say. I kind of prefer it to this one. This, this is it's too solid. Colours are too solid. This will be slough that we're going through.
I don't think there's ever been an easier rush hour run out of London Paddington before. Fifteen miles to go before we hit Reading. Oh, hello. That's the. Uh, I swear this thing's just out to get me. Yeah, just like going between notch three and notch four would be ideal. I'm going fractionally <laughs> faster than the HST. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, get comfortable. Wait for it. Here she comes. Find a trampside spot to go and uh, sit at where I'm a safe distance away from the HST so I can actually get comfortable. Noing. Let's go. Here? How, how far away are we? A bit too close for comfort. Look at the clag. How can you not like this? It's fantastic running. If I zoom out a bit, a little bit more, no zoom in even at this point. to just see what we can work with. Nope. There we go, that's what I want to do. Keep the zoom out, we'll just come in a little bit closer, back to where we were. Acknowledge that. Let's hop into the cab. So I didn't actually see what that warning was for. Seven miles to go. I'm just waiting to see if we get anything pop up down here, or at the very least, we've got anything signal-wise that's going to do something, no. Nope. May have been just to keep me alert. Well, it's 70 going up there, which I'm sure as hell hope isn't going to be for us, because <laughs> that would have been awkward.
Okay, so the way it's going, we're now due into Reading almost two minutes early, which uh, isn't bad going. Curve. Cool, blimey. Way bit of a shake. Oh, that's got that some lean going to it then, blimey. There's another turbo coming down. Four miles to go before we hit Reading. That could do with being a bit higher, those uh, sides of the bridge. That's quite dangerous. Yeah, that's really dangerous. <laughs> Passing about under a million bridges at this point. That's the third. Okay, right, that's fine. Got to be quite heavy fisted on the braking. Oh, how Reading has changed. Another one of the uh, the Thames turbos that will presumably be going either to uh, Red Hill or Gatwick Airport. I love the colour scheme. There's another one. To be honest, I'm going to have to go past this light. So then, if I want to get the entire thing in, which I think is slightly bizarre, but you want to try and get the whole train in, surely to God. Or at least the carriages, so that'll do. Okay, so here we are at Redon. Who are you? One six six two nineteen.
and it's all nice and peaceful at the moment. Don't think anything else is coming down from there at the moment, is it? Do 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 do. Can't see, so nope. Maybe we can have a quiet reading. Uh, this is quarter to six in the evening. Reading is eerily quiet. Intriguing. We've got a bit of a wait here anyway. Let's go up a bit. Go across a bit. Back a bit. Or should we try and get a... Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try... The emphasis on the word try and get a screenshot as we go on the uh, the avoiding line around Didcot Parkway when we head towards Oxford. That's my plan. So the door is open there, but... Uh, not here. Interestingly. So what... Let's look back up to there. There we go, right. So, oh, the door was open. Alright, okay. So, right, that's open, that's open, that's open, that's open, that is not for passenger use. So, that's open, that's open, that's open, that's open, that's open, that's open. Interesting. Very interesting. It's got the HST on tick over at the moment. Two men, now one man power walking. But no, we're back to two. So what are you going to do then? You're going to stand right in front of him? E yeah, anyway. More on that later. Fly anywhere in Europe, a breath of fresh air, guaranteed lowest fares online. Okay, well, are you going to... Uh, are you going to give me a website? You know, it's no good just saying fly anywhere in Europe. Who with? Who am I flying with? You know... Get guaranteed lowest fares online. Okay, well, how do I how do I find you? How do, what what do I do? Do I type in flight anywhere in Europe? Because that could be anything. Oh, hello. Noing. Okay, Oxford is going to be our next station stop, so we're going to release that. Full beans. There's another HST's coming in. It's interesting, we've got so many different livery varieties on this one scenario. Get back to this side.
So 26 and a half miles to go before we hit Oxford. Okay, so the next station we're going to be passing through, because I know this this particular area of the line, because I covered it just the other day, uh, will be Tilehurst. And then Pangbourne will be next. Great amount of movement in the Mark 3s. Back when window hanging was a thing. I don't know why I'm doing it there, I don't actually really need to, but, you know, it's all the same. This a goring and streetly will be uh, next on the agenda. The seats are perfectly comfortable, so I'm going to go back over here. Because why not? Okay, under 20 miles to go before we hit Oxford. And we're due in on time.
still going strong. Now, I'm loving this rush hour run. This is just the easiest rush hour journey I've ever had. It was like Cholsey were passing through. Slowing down for the <clears throat> for the junction. That's not good. That's really not good. <sighs> Jesus Christ, don't do that to me. <laughs> I, had, I had a momentary heart attack and I thought, ah, oh, well, that's it, we're knackered. So what livery HS2 have we got coming past here then? Oh, one of the older ones again. It's coming off the line from Oxford. I'm just snaking across. Okay, so let's try this. Let's sit about here.
That could work. There's the cooling towers that did got power station. It's good to know that uh, you can fiddle with the reversal while the are um, still going in a decent momentum. I don't want to try and lock that in. So Applefords will be the first station that we pass through on this section of the line. Nice little quaint station, rudely interrupted by me. Cullum will be the next station that we pass through. And then we will be passing through Radley. So under seven miles to go. We've got another one of the Thames turbos at Radley. And the uh, final stop will be Oxford. I can assure you that 25 limit does not affect me. Because if it did, it would be a case of 
Who did? Just start slowing down now. Especially if the uh, the signals are not going to be with us, so it will um, we'll lean outside for the remainder of the journey. All right, we're just going to coast at this point. Hold it dependent if the signal will uh, change in our favour when we get there. I mean, to be fair, I've got plenty of time to play with. I'm not due in till um, 18.13. Maybe a case of that um, we get held outside Oxford for a bit. In fact, nope, it's just changed. So that's absolutely fine. So let's go to notch two just to uh, get a bit of oomph going. Gorgeous sunset. A site that once was. Yes. Have some of that. Cool, I'll tell you what. Let's, um... <laughs> oh, love it. Well, it's 
go see if all the doors open, shall we? Yes. 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 E no, yeah. Well, yes. Yes, it, they, they, they've all done technically, with the exception of this one. Yes. Yes. And yes. Excellent. So then I presume that once this is all done, the train, well, I won't be doing it, but the train will then head up into the holding sidings up there, where it'll then cross back over into here and then bomb all the way down to uh, London Paddington once more. Well done, you've managed to keep to the timetable. Your performance is improving. Try something challenging next time. <laughs> wow, way to shoot you down. Uh, so I've done 63 miles, speeding nine times. Yay. <laughs> uh, that, was, that was a good one, actually. That's, uh, that's quite enjoyable. So... Uh, where am I? Right. Uh, yep, next we're going to do another HST one. And uh, we're going to do a busy... Spelling mistake. It's supposed to be it's, but apparently the person writing this um, is at a moment. It's a busy weekday evening and you're in charge of the, o of the 1806 to Froome. Uh, to compound issues, however, word has been received that a train running ahead of you is having problems. Do your best to keep to the time. That is what we're going to be covering next. Uh, and then after that, um, we're then going to do um, another 166 and we'll be doing Oxford to uh, Reading. And the last time I did this was Reading to Oxford and I did test driving the thing. So I'm, I'm forgiving it a go. I'm forgiving it a go. So uh, until next time, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.